Hey, football fans, Brad Nessler here with my partners in crime, Lee Corso and Kirk Kerbstreet. Brisk, cool weather on tap for tonight's game between the Texas A&M Aggies and the Volunteers of Tennessee. It's near the midway point of the season, and these two SEC... Tennessee is going to attack this defense in the air, and I'll tell you, this is the key to the game. If their quarterback has time to throw, he'll have a huge game today against that vulnerable secondary. Kirk, great minds think alike. Good old Rocky Top, Rocky Top, Tennessee, yo! They'll take over at the 20. Take over at the 20 yard line. First and 10. The volunteer come out in the shotgun. He drops back with a quick throw. And it's going the other way. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. They'll bring in their dime package. Juku. And they make the stop. Two-yard pickup. On the 11 going in. a move and down he goes he gets four maybe five yards on the counter they put everyone up on the line So he keeps it, and he takes it in for six. No surprise that this guy's running the football. He played half back in high school. And he tacks on the extra point. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. it off and he got all of that one number 11 fields it in the end zone he broke his ankle. time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive they'll start this drive at the 19 yard line they'll throw on first down he tosses it short complete that'll be a game of three yards Second and seven, ball on the 22-yard line. The volunteer set up in the gun. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Throws it to the outside. The ball is tipped. You got to be careful throwing in the coverage like that. Well, Coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on their own 22. Tennessee goes with the ace set here. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He rolls out to the left. He decides to run with it. A big gain on that quarterback scramble. Boy, a defensive breakdown here. Good defense. They had everybody covered, but they left the quarterback with a lot of running room. The key word is but. Good defense, but. You got to keep your eye on that kid. They come out with three wide receivers. They'll throw on first down, fires it quickly, and it's incomplete, and he overthrew his wide receivers. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. 
Second and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. The ball. Line up with four wideouts. Drops back to pass. Got hit as he threw. It's tipped. Almost intercepted. Almost a turnover. As a quarterback, I can tell you that those are the only types of drops we like to see. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Number five lines up with five wide out. Back to pass. He steps up with the throw. And it's caught. Tackle at the 33-yard line. The receiver did come down with the ball, but he'll be short of the first down. Yeah, I just can't figure out why you'd run that play on third down. They line up to punt this one away. It's off, and it is a dandy. Smith fields it at the 24. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shot at the 39. The Aggies have five receivers on this play. They'll throw on first down. Comes across the middle. Got it. Mitchell brings him down. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. Texas A&M in a five-wide set. King to the air on first down. He gets the pass away. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. That could have easily been a turnover. I don't even think the quarterback even saw that guy. Well, he almost saw him running the other direction with the football. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 50. From the gun. He passes it. Complete. Here he goes. And they push him out. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. It's third down and two to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. They run a counter. He can scoop. Missed tackle. He tries to win. They'll bring him down. And that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. First and ten. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Yankees come out the shotgun. Snap as he works from the gun. He's going left. He's still alive. Flowers with a takedown. I thought that one was going to sail high, but he pulled it down. And Brad, the ball is never out of reach if this young man is on the receiving end. About 12 yards out. Another trip to the red zone. Last time, it resulted in a touchdown. He unloads it. It falls incomplete. The halfback just ran out of real estate. That's the quarterback's play. He needs to put that pass where his guy doesn't have to be standing in the third row to make the catch. On the 12, and they can smell the goal line. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. They'll run the option. Williams brings him down. And the halfback ripped off a nice game there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good-looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. Texas A&M comes out of the shotgun. Look 
to be hurt down there. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. They're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it. McCoy fields it in the end zone. I don't know if you guys saw this, but the coach gave his offense quite a speech before he sent him out there. And let's not forget, they had some things clicking the last time out. He's probably right, just reminding them to finish the job this time. They'll get the ball here at the 25-yard line. Number five lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Someone got a hand on it. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kirk, but you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 25. Tennessee goes with the ace set here. Little shake and bake move. Chapel brings him down. A two-yard run by the halfback. Gain of two on the play. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 27. Steps up, throws it to the outside. Incomplete. Well, that was an impressive stand by the defense. Three good defensive plays equals punt. Nice job, guys. They line up to punt this one away. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Smith fields it at the 22. He jukes it. The run game was a big factor in this offense's last drive when they got down the field for a touchdown. They'll go to work at the 25. Six DBs in the lineup. They'll throw on first down. With the throw. And it falls incomplete. The pass was right there. Just couldn't be controlled. Just tied in some more passes in practice. He needs all the help he can get. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Going with the shotgun here. He drops back. Wants to throw a screen. The ball is tipped. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 25. The defense lines up with six DB. He'll dump this one off. The true freshman has it. That was a nice stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. Fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number 95 punts it, and it's a good one. McCoy takes it at the 23. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. 
Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made of. Somebody get me a helmet, quickly! They'll take over at the 29. Start the drive at the 29-yard line. First and 10. Nickel defense, back to pass. He lets it go, and it's caught. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Tennessee takes a timeout. Second and 10, ball on their own 29. Number five is back in the gun. Drops back to pass. They'll make the sack. Texas A&M calls a timeout. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on their own 25. Tennessee lines up with three receivers. He drops back, steps up in the pocket. He's going left. Takes off a tackle. That last INT gives this defense two on the day. Not a good throw there, and the quarterback needs to make better decisions. They'll start this drive at the 35-yard line. Back to pass. He steps up, throws it to the outside. Incomplete pass. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 35. They'll work from the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Steps up, looking across the middle. Complete Beasley with a takedown. About six yards on the play. Third and four. Ball on the 29. Going with the shotgun here. They go with the option. He breaks free. And down he goes. Texas A&M takes a timeout. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters the most. Number 15 lines up in the shotgun. Throw short. Complete to the true freshman. Brought down. The play fake. Good for only a couple. Number 15 has five receivers lined up here. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. He'll dump this one off. Has it to the senior. Superb catch by the wide receiver for the score. tax on the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Kicks it deep. McCoy fields it in the end zone. Let's watch this defense and how aggressive they are. They were able to get a pick the last time, and they're like a wild animal. When they smell blood, they go in for the kill. Take it easy, coach. You're getting excited. Hey, that's right, sweetheart. I'm always excited. Tennessee comes out in the shotgun. 
drops back. He steps up. Wants to throw. Outside. Got it to his receiver. Tennessee calls a timeout. It's first and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Ace backfield. Back to pass. He might have a chance. Harmon brings him down. He hustles the troops to the line. They come out at a nickel. And he stops the clock with a spike. Third and two coming up here. Ball on their own 45. Number five comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Look. He rolls out to the right. Throws it to the outside. And it's incomplete. I know the pass was fired pretty hard, but you still have to catch it. That's right. The only reason he's out there is to catch the football. The volunteer line up the punt. Brooks punts it, and it's a good one. Smith signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the nine. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. They'll set up shop at the nine-yard line. Texas A&M in a four-wide set. They hand it off. Tries to juke. He might have a chance at the 40. Across midfield. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Texas A&M. And he hits the PAT. After one half of play, this one is not even close. Our score, Texas A&M, 28. Tennessee, nothing. Tennessee got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Smith fields it in the end zone, and now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 25. will start the drive at the 25-yard line. First and 10. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. He drops back. Wants to throw outside. And they couldn't hook up on that one. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. Second and ten. Ball on the 25. The Aggies come out in a shotgun. Back to pass. Looking down the middle. Hanson Baylor. The 50, at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Goodbye! What an athletic play by the wideout. This guy's one of the most athletic players I've seen all year. Do you realize in high school this guy was all state in football, basketball, and baseball? He's been making big plays his whole life. And he tacks on the extra point. The fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place. Now 
number 95 looks ready to kick this one off. Kicks it deep. McCoy fields it in the end zone. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 25-yard line. At the 25-yard line. First and 10. Number five is back in the gun. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. Jackson comes away with a sack. Now that's some heavy pressure. It all starts with the battle up front. I don't care how good your receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, Coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without time. Five wide. He drops back. Rolls right. He's going right. And it falls incomplete. Number 11, the intended receiver on the play. Third and long. Ball on their own 17. Back to pass. He steps up. Looks. Throws down the middle. Someone got a hand on it. Fantastic play by the cornerback. All you young defensive backs at home. That is how you play defense. The Volunteers are lining up to punt it away. Brooks punts it, and it's a good one. Smith fields it to 29. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. They'll start this drive at the 33-yard line. They come out in a nickel. He's on the run. And he's taken down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 46. They'll bring in their dime pack. And he's hit hard. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He just went right through him. Man, who was supposed to block that guy? I don't think it matters, Kirk. He's playing with reckless abandon out there. It's got to be hard to block a guy that hits like that. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 44. Bring in their dime package. Looking, throws it to the outside. The ball is tipped. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kirk, but when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. The Aggies come out showing three wide. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. Once it all. Going deep. Incomplete. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. They come out in a punt formation. Number 95 punts it, and it's a good one. McCoy calls for the fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. First and 10. Ball on their own 25. The ball come out in a shotgun. Play action. Across the middle, and he brings it down. Nice 
nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. Tennessee comes out of the shotgun. They'll bring him down at the 42. Gain of nine. Nine yard gain on the play. Second and one coming up here. Ball on the 42 yard line. They come out in a nickel. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Throws. And down he goes. That's a smart and safe play by the quarterback. You're absolutely right. Good decision. Nothing risky. Just throw the short pass and pick up the first down. First and ten. Ball on the 39. Come out showing three wide. Hot, hot, hot. Throw short, incomplete pass. And the tight end couldn't manage to stay in bounds that time. Yep, the tight end caught the ball, but not before he stepped out of bounds. Good call there by the refs. It's second down and 10 to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. This one out to the right, and it's incomplete. The big tight end got it knocked out of his hand. Oh, he's supposed to be able to make that play. A good-sized kid like him, he can't let them push him around like that. Third and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. Three wide outs here. He drops back, looks, throws it to the outside. Got it. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great-looking pass to move the sticks on third down. It's first and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. Number five comes to the line with three wide with the throw. The ball is tipped. How about that play right there? Zone coverage by the defense, and the linebacker is quick enough to react and get a hand on the ball to force the incompletion. So it's second and ten, and this is the eighth play of the drive. Drops back to pass. A little juke. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. He'll feel that one in the morning. You bet he will. I mean, just look at that guy that sacked him. He's a monster. I could have swore I felt the earth shake when he hit the ground. Unless we see some sort of miracle, this one's pretty much over. Heading to the fourth. Our score, Texas A&M, 35. Tennessee, nothing. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Tennessee lines up in a shotgun set. Back to pass. He steps up, looking. Wants to throw outside. And that one's fallen incomplete. Number five is the impact player, and he's feeling it right now. Throws it to the outside. Harris with a takedown. Unbelievable pass. They don't care what down it is. This defense can't let that happen. If you stop a guy on third down, you can't let him go forward on fourth like that. Brings him down. A two-yard run by the halfback. The 
They spread out the defense here. Man, I like this call. Spreading out the defense near the goal line. Good call. Uh oh high snap. Picked off in the end zone. And they come up with another turnover. Now the defense is playing very opportunistic out there today. That was their third interception of the game. They'll set up shot at the 25. First and 10. Nothing wrong with playing your backup quarterback when you're up this much. And they continue to pound it out on the ground. Tick, tick, tick. Continue to milk that clock. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 26. 26 yard line. With a takedown. Number 15 on the carry. Gain of two on the play. Third it's third seven. down and seven to go. Ball, Ball on the 28. Texas A&M comes to the line with three wide. Field at the 40. He's into the open field. To the 10. Goodbye. Where you have for Lee? That was his third rushing score for the game. If I was a coach, I'd give this kid the ball every time. He hits the PAT. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Texas A&M to kick. Number 80 and number 11 back ready to return. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Number 80 fields it in the end zone. Let's watch this defense and how aggressive they are. They were able to get a pick for the last time, and they're like a wild animal. When they smell blood, they're going for the kill. Take it easy, coach. You get excited. Hey, that's right, sweetheart. I'm always excited. Tennessee goes with the ace set here. Nice play fake. He tosses it short. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. And he's hammered as he lets it go. Incomplete after the defense got in his face and punished him as he released the football. The offensive line is just opening the floodgates on him. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 25. They come out in a five-wide set. Milton back to throw. Looks. He's under pressure. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. They couldn't get him blocked up that time. And something tells me they won't be able to get him blocked up the next time either. This kid is a force out there. We'll probably be hearing his name for some time to come because he's only in his first year on the field. The Vols are lining up to punt it away. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. George takes it to 36. 
Looks to me as though the offensive line is ready to run the ball some more. And that defensive line better be ready because if they aren't, they'll be giving up another touchdown drive. They'll go to work at the 47. Start the drive at the 47-yard line. First and 10. Texas a and lines up in a goal line set. Brought down. And they threw a flag on that play. Let's see what the call is. Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. 15 yards from the spot of the foul. He took him down Automatic using his face down. mask, and that'll be a 15-yarder. You betcha. And that's the worst way to bring a man down. March it off, refs. First and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. Number 15 has four receivers lined up here. Brings him down. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. And that's the end of the ball game. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? I can't say enough about this performance. Texas A&M played an excellent game out there, dominating on both sides of the ball. They've got to feel pretty good after blowing out a team like this. Folks, That's thanks for tuning into game. our game. Our final score, Texas A&M 42, Tennessee nothing. From all of us here at EA Sports, we hope to see you again soon. Goodbye, everybody.